The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Eternal Weight of Glory For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 2 Corinthians 4.17 I was pointed to the glory of heaven, to the treasure laid up for the faithful. Everything was lovely and glorious. The angels would sing a lovely song. Then they would cease singing and take their crowns from their heads and cast them, glittering at the feet of the lovely Jesus. And with melodious voices cry, Glory, Alleluia. I joined with them in their songs of praise and honour to the Lamb, and every time I opened my mouth to praise Him, I felt an unutterable sense of the glory that surrounded me. It was a far more an exceeding and eternal weight of glory, said the angel, the little remnant who love God and keep His commandments and are faithful to the end will enjoy this glory and ever be in the presence of Jesus and sing with the holy angels. Then my eyes were taken from the glory, and I was pointed to the remnant on the earth. The angels said to them, Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ye must have a greater preparation than ye now have, for the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Sacrifice all to God, lay all upon his altar, self, property, and all, a living sacrifice. It will take all to enter glory. Lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where no thief can approach or rust corrupt. Ye must be partakers of Christ's sufferings. Hear, if ye would be partakers with him of his glory hereafter. Heaven will be cheap enough. If we obtain it through suffering, we must deny self all along the way. Die to self daily. Let Jesus alone appear and keep his glory continually in view. The work of salvation is not child's play to be taken hold of at will and let alone at pleasure. It is the steady purpose, the untiring effort that will gain the victory at last. It is he who endureth, endureth to the end, that shall be saved. It is they who patiently continue in well-doing that shall have eternal life and the immortal reward.